right, y'all, well, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to do our first load with the dump trailer here. I have quite a bit of dirt that I need to move and get off the front side of the property to a few places on the back side. I'll explain what that's for. Plus, this is just a good first test of using the dump trailer. So I'm gonna be hauling the dump trailer around with a tractor today, dropping it off, dumping with it, hooked up to the tractor. And here's the thing about a tractor three point, it can actually lift up. So if I go to dump this and the tongue wants to lift because all the dirt and weight's shifting to the rear, well, we could wind up with a dangerous situation. So I need to put what's called stabilizer jacks in right here. Just so happens this iron bull trailer come from the factory with welded in pockets, but the stabilizers themselves, the bars that drop down that you pin, they're about $200. I've got steel laying around here and some scrap stuff. We're gonna build those real quick. These are also very important for whenever I'm gonna load my tractor up on here and haul it somewhere. When you load heavy equipment on the rear, it's gonna literally wanna lift the rear of your truck off the ground and in extreme cases, that can happen while well, your parking brake is on the rear of your truck tires. So if you lift the rear up and you happen to be on a hill, the front tires can start rolling with your trailer, with you on the equipment, it can get hairy and dangerous really quick. So these stabilizer jacks are for various safety reasons. See how this front jack right here has a lip front rear? That's so it can't actually dig in and hang up in the ground. So we're definitely gonna to need to put a flare on the feet and it just so happens I found some scrap still over here. Here's some legs I cut off of a propane tank. Well, they already have enough flare going on, although, well, it's not symmetrical by no means. We'll just cut it off here and here, weld those to it, call it good.
All right, so you may be wondering why am I dumping dirt here? I'm actually gonna dump it in three spots today. So this is all the grass that we just scraped off from the pool area. So it's just grass and roots, and obviously it's got a lot of dirt mixed in, but it's really not good stuff to use anywhere. You can't level it out, you can't smooth it, and it takes forever for all that grass and roots to break down. So we are at my 200 yard berm. I've actually got one in here. I marked it off earlier. This is all the grass and roots that was from whenever we cleaned off for the house. So that's what I'm doing. My deer blinds back this direction. This is a good place to put all this. I'm basically just making a rifle or a bullet backstop right here. And it's just a good place to put this stuff while it continues to rot and break down and it's out of my way. I'm actually gonna put my three point down and put it on the jack. And let's see if it actually lifts the jack up any. I have a feeling when all the weight goes to the rear, it may try to lift the front, but I don't know. I had that happen with my friend's trailer but his was not balanced like this. This one seems to have a lot of tongue weight. So let's see. And I kind of purposely loaded heavier than I should have with this dirt because we're on the property. We're not going on the highway. And I've got it loaded heavy to the front because I want to see if this cylinder lifts like they claim. You're going to get your best lifting on a dump trailer with a front mounted cylinder instead of cylinders back here trying to lift up. It just makes more sense. You're just going to get more leverage up there. Let's see. It's probably going to grunt. lifting no problems doesn't sound unusual so this is that first main lifting bore this is a three position cylinder has three bores it should start speeding up here before long all right there's speed number two all right so I drilled a couple position in these arms I'm gonna raise them on up a few more inches. Then nice if the stabilizer arms are welded to the frame. Now that this is spinning around, I don't want it hitting my tire. Now here's the thing, if I don't see the tongue lift up any, once I get it dumping a little higher, I'll never use these stabilizer arms for anything other than loading equipment, loading my tractor. All right, we just went to the third position, and we're dumping now. Now I need to pull the tractor forward. All right, so one good thing to note, it looks like if the trailer tried to dump and lift up off the hitch, that the trailer itself is gonna make contact with the ground. I don't even think I need these arms other than loading equipment, which is fine, because I definitely need them for that. All right, that worked out beautiful. The tongue has got enough tongue weight on it. It never tried to lift up off the tractor like the last trailer I was borrowing did, which kind of got a little squirrely and hairy. That all dumped that into short pile instead of me having to drag in it forever because this trailer's got such a steep dump angle. I love that. And here's the other thing. These are things to learn now before you go buy a dump trailer. With the trailer all the way in the upright position, I still have, and we're on a little bit of a hill right here, I still have six inches of clearance right here. On perfectly flat ground, I usually have about 10 inches. So it's not dragging the ground as I'm pulling forward. Last trailer I borrowed did that, and it kind of made it a little difficult to dump. So the angles are figured out really good on this trailer. All right, here's the other thing I love. This thing comes down quick. Love it. On to the next load.
All right, so we're all cleaned up and ready for the next job. This was a good initial test, just giving me my first, well, kind of break in and use of the dump trailer. I am very pleased with what I'm seeing. Just having used some before, borrowed some, used some, it looks like this was very properly engineered from the height of the trailer to where the axles are located, the amount of tongue weight so it doesn't want to tip backwards and off the hitch whenever I'm dumping, the height at which it dumps so I can pull forward and this isn't dragging the ground. Like everything is perfect. I am so pleased with the purchase of this dump trailer right here. Now I may find some problems down the road. That is what it is. So now I've got my stabilizer bars built. Wasn't really for dumping, but I was concerned about tipping. We don't have that at all. And now, maybe in a future episode, we'll play around with putting the equipment, the tractor itself in the trailer and kind of see my setup and use there for that. That way, whenever it comes time to haul the tractor somewhere, I've got it all figured out. Do I need to back in, pull in? Is it dangerous? Is it safe? Just get all that kind of stuff figured out. I think that'll make a fun little episode right there. All right, y'all, coming up, we gotta still jump back on the huge pool project. That's coming very soon. We'll get you another video there. And then this dump trailer is gonna get a ton of use. We have rock to haul in for landscaping supplies. We have to go get another load of compost. I need to get one over to my father. So, hey, if there's another load and use of this right here, we gotta get another one here again for some of that landscaping as well. So we're gonna be putting this thing to some good use. Thank y'all for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.